in this video i am going to share with you how a linear accelerator can be used for giving more energy to charge particles regarding that first of all let us understand what is the principle on which this linear accelerator works the principle of working of this linear accelerator is that a charge particle gets accelerated to a very high energy if it repeatedly passes through some high potential difference now let us come to construction of linear accelerator it consists of a fixed number of hollow cylindrical tubes which are arranged coaxially in a straight line starting from the source of particles length of the cylindrical tubes is logically kept in the increasing order the cylindrical tubes are connected alternately to the terminals of a high frequency oscillator that is first third fifth seventh and so on these are connected to one terminal of oscillator and even number tubes that is second fourth sixth etc are connected to the second terminal of oscillator using oscillator the polarity of both the sets of cylindrical electrodes can be reversed after every half cycle of ac power supply the charged particles are injected at the moment when first cylindrical electrode has polarity opposite to that of particles so that the particles are attracted towards first tube the frequency of ac oscillator is so adjusted that the polarity of tubes gets reversed at the moment when the particle reaches gap between first and second cylindrical tube as a result the particle gets again accelerated towards second tube this process is repeated till the particle acquires the required amount of energy the high energy particles coming out of the last tube are then made to strike the target this is about the working of linear accelerator now during working there are some problems one of the problems is radial focusing of charged particles it is nothing but the process of focusing the charged particles towards the common axis of cylindrical tubes while crossing the gap between two tubes it is required because the charged particle gets deviated from straight line path when it reaches the gap between any two tubes it is due to the curved nature of electric lines of force appearing near the gap after this next main point of discussion is phase focusing of charged particles because of different amounts of energies gained by different particles the phase difference between any two particles gets changed in successive gaps the process of making all the charged particles to reach the successive gaps with a constant phase difference is called phase focusing so these two focusing processes are very necessary for proper functioning of a linear accelerator now let me brief some points about theory of this accelerator the length of tubes is not randomly chosen there is a particular relation for length of any nth tube 
तो यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला द लेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड ट्यूब इज डिसाइडेड बाई पुटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ एन यू कैन कैलकुलेट लेंथ ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड लेंथ ऑफ एनी एंथ ट्यूब इन दिस रिलेशन एफ इज फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ कनेक्टेड ए सी ओसिलेटर एम इज मास ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल एंड क्यू इज चार्ज ऑफ ए पार्टिकल वी नॉट इज पीक वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल अप्लाइड के स्टैंड फॉर काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल एट द टाइम ऑफ इट्स इंजेक्शन इन टू द एक्सलेटर तो यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन वी कैन डिसाइड द लेंथ ऑफ फर्स्ट ट्यूब देन लेंथ ऑफ सेकेंड ट्यूब एंड सो ऑन दैट्स ऑल थैंक्स ए लॉट आई एक्सपेक्ट कमेंट्स फ्रॉम द व्यूअर्स एंड आई विल ट्राई टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दोज कमेंट्स ऑल्सो